Hey there, this is René Molina for GNS 3 volt and in this lab I want to show you how to do the BGP TTL security lab. Okay, so if you ever configured eBGP before, you might recall that the TTL of all your BGP packets will be 1. And when you're doing eBGP from your loopback interfaces, you have to change the TTL by using the eBGP multi-hop command. Now that's very nice, but the downside of using the TTL like that is um, that it's possible to spoof those BGP packets. Because imagine that uh, there's a uh, router over here, router Bowser. Imagine that it's going to send a BGP packet and I'm going to spoof the IP address of router Luigi, destination uh, Mario, and I'm going to set the TTL at 2. Then this packet will be forwarded to Luigi, it will decrease the TTL to 1, forwarded to router Mario, and then router Mario will think that it has received a BGP packet from Luigi. So it's possible to spoof a BGP packet by uh, changing the TTL. Now what we are going to do by using TTL security is flipping um, the TTL. So instead of using a TTL of 1, we will start with a TTL of 255 and then we will decrease the TTL. What this means is that if Router Luigi is sending BGP packets to Mario with a TTL of 255, then Router Bowser will be unable to spoof those packets because 255 is the highest TTL that I can use. There's no TTL um, value 256 because there are only 8 bits that we can use. Okay, so let me just show you how this um, works, how you have to do this and how you can confirm it on your routers. So I'm going to router Bowser, uh, sorry router Mario, that's where we will start. Router BGP, type in some neighbor commands like this. And we'll have to wait till our BGP adjacency is ready. And there it is. So it's up. Now when you do show IP BGP neighbors and specify the IP address of your neighbor, you can see over here minin oh that's funny minimum so there's a typo here in the show command minimum incoming TTL 0 outgoing TTL 1 so that's the normal behavior of uh, BGP or uh, I should say external BGP and what we can do is change this behavior So I'm going to do TTL security hops and I'm going to set it to a hop of 1. And let's do clear IBGP just to be sure. Okay, and it's back up. Now if you look closely you can see that it now says minimum incoming TTL 254, outgoing TTL 255. So that's better because there's no way for me to spoof this because I, it's impossible to create uh, a BGP packet that will have a TTL of 256. Um, Okay, so that's all there is to it. This is how you can configure BGP TTL security. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.